First step, select a mountain. For example, that one. Pack up what you need. Don't live in the shade of what you can carry. Go to her feet. Ask for her silent permission. She never says no. Let her know that your footprints are not permanent, that you won't knock on her door like an earthquake, leaving craters on her skin, letting her pick up her rubble in your wake, wearing her dust like a suit to make you look tough. Because you can't. That is for her. This is for you. Know yourself smaller. You're not a conqueror. You're looking at something that's been there long before you and will be there long after. So leave your hard and well-suited importance at home. Sometimes I imagine mountains like some giant upside down teacups he forgot to put away as we walk on its rock like plastic and marvel at the crests and trees that took root in its teeth. Put one foot in front of the other. That's all there is to it. Walk until your lungs start embracing her thin air. It will fight at first. But keep walking until your heartstrings start beating in your eardrums and your whole body starts sounding like a small orchestra getting out of tune. Until your pulse hammered at your chest like you had swallowed a forge and their furnaces were blowing, getting ready for a war. Let the city inside of you know that there's nothing to fear. You're getting away from the center of the earth, but unlike Hikarus, you cannot fall. Your wings are not waxed on. You cannot fall. Stop. Breathe. Go on. I once heard the moon was part of the earth, but when he went flying away, he left an ocean behind. So sometimes I imagine that the peak of Fairy Mountain used to be the bottom of a lake, and I'm climbing downwards into the sky, and if I climb too high, I might start falling upwards in some moments, so kiss the ground every now and then, just in case. But save your words. Mountains hum in a language you don't speak. A mix of heavy dark stone and green soft moss, of strange metals dancing in the bowels of the earth, and of the rain punching them softly. An empire falls every time they blink, so they never took to our language. They only understand our commitment, right foot, left foot. And when you get to the top, when you get to the top, fuck everything. Sometimes I imagine Mr. Mountain like an old man that just sits down and waits for me because he can't go anywhere. Oh, this is a delight. Will you be staying this time? I'm always torn between writing a book and staying quiet. <laughs> <laughs>